So here we are, part five of um, Bodo Hag's Origami Basilisk version two tutorial. We have just finished the transition units right here on the legs and on the body. And now we are going to make the scales. I'm gonna start out with the leg scales. Then I will do the top half of the body scales and let you do the bottom half. So here we go. These leg scales right here. For the leg scales, just open this up and as you can see on here, how I do these leg scales is I have the, this go up and then this fold over. So, I need to find, okay. So, along this line, starting, okay. At this point, we're gonna open up all these units right here and we're gonna make a mountain fold down right here and make it all the way down to the bottom. And that is making this fold right here, which will fold up like this. Now we need to make the valley fold. So make the valley fold unit right underneath it. So let me show you again right in here from this valley fold right there we went over one unit and there we have this fold and you can make this mountain fold and then the valley fold right there now we are going to make a mountain fold and it starts, okay. Starts halfway, half of a unit past here. So if you look here, we see this is the first one, that first line that we made. The second one starts halfway in between this unit. You can make these folds farther down and then just make continue to crease like that and then make the valley fold which should be one unit well half unit should look like this And now we are going to make two last folds, which should be from when you go here to be following down exactly where this point is. <clears throat> right here, you go just halfway through the diagonal unit. And then these two units right here the valley fold like that so now we should have all of these units in place and now we can go up to this next one so that starts where the next transition unit picks up so it starts the same line three unit, the well, three half units over. You can fold that and then make the valley fold. Like this. And that should be, yes, second unit. 
Okay. Now we are going to make the next one, which should go from this point, continue down. But this time we're gonna stop right at this mountain fold, and then we're gonna make the valley fold. But the valley fold is going to stop at this valley fold right before it, but right before the mountain fold. Now we have one more pleat to make, which is from this point, right like this. Should be one diagonal unit, but it's shifted over. So it's, instead of going through one square, it's going through the end of one square and the beginning of another and then just make the valley fold right there. So here we have all of these folds in place. Now I'm going to show you how to make the diagonal folds. So starting from let's see this point right here, we're gonna make a mountain fold and it's going to go up and see, yes. As you see on this, it's gonna go up like this, see, up. Right like this and up. This part should meet right here and then this can just be folded over. But where I think it starts to get confusing is in here. We have to sort of make these folds. We'll have to see. The next fold, so just have that part right here that be open just like this. And now the next fold we make Okay. So now we are going to make a fold that goes from this point and comes down. and it comes as a valley fold. So fold this over, fold this up. Just like this, and now we have to, this is the part that I always found confusing, getting this part to lie flat here. On this, it, Okay, what I'm gonna try is, let's see, this comes up, oh yes, this comes up to this point and it should have these two creases right here. Just like in the crease pattern, now when this mountain fold comes up, as these two creases. Now what I think happens is, okay, yes. Yes, that is so much easier. You're going to make a mountain fold on these two creases and then this one, these three creases and a valley fold right there. And it should lie flat. And then do the same thing on this one. So, oops, this is slipping. Make out and fold right here. To have this thigh flat. Just 
just need one sip of it. Now I will show you a little bit more in detail. Okay. Still not very neat. It will get better. But should look like this. So now do the same thing for this third one. Right here, we're gonna make the mountain fold. Like this, and then we should have that point. I'm gonna press this in, fold this up. And we should get this little triangle right here. Now do the same thing for this next one. Line this fold. Flip it up. just like this. So let me gather this all together. Once I finish this side of the scales, I will show you a little more in depth. Once we get to here, we just have this from this point to here. Then a mountain fold and fold it over. And then on this last one, make this a mountain fold and fold it over. So that should give us this. And as promised, this is what it looks like. This doesn't come, it doesn't go to the point, it goes to where these two mountain folds are and that will get folded over just like this. I actually did not do that for the first one for my original fold. So the leg scales, when it gets in here, they're very cluttered and it's not as neat. So that is very good to know. So that is one side of the leg scales. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And I will show you this, but once we get to right here, I'm only gonna do the top, and you will get to do the bottom. So, now we can do the same thing we did on this side. So open up these, units right here. This paper is chipping a lot because it a little heavy on the spray paint. And then from this point, we're gonna make our mountain fold. From that point over. And now we're going to make the two other folds right here. Halfway in between this unit, we can extend here. Make the belly fold. It's really helpful to look at the crease pattern. 
which you should probably have by now if you don't make sure to go and get it. It's very helpful. Okay, so make this to hold in this feet here. Now we're going to do the folds from Wait, so this po third point, third half unit square over this mountain fold, this valley fold. It's really just the same thing we did on the other side. It is the same thing we did on the other side, except it's reversed. So once we get to this one, don't get, make the fold. past here and then don't make the valley fold past here and then let's make this fold this valley fold and that is it for this direction now we can start making the folds in this direction so make Fold from this point, fold it over like this, fold it in that direction, then we can make another mountain fold like this. Press this in. And go. Let me try and this a little better. Press this up. There are the first two pleats. Now, what, once you get it one time, you'll really just be able to understand it a lot better. So, from this point, make the mountain fold. And always when you make the mountain fold, there should be a little intersection like this, right there. Make it up to that. Press it in. And make the valley. Like this. And do the same for the rest of the beats. Except on this one, we go from this point and we just fold it over. So when we get to here, we just fold this over like that. Oops, this got shifted. Okay, fold this over. Okay. And then for the last one, just do the same thing. Make that fold. So now you can press this all in. Oops. And we have this. And you can just fold it in.
So there are the lemon scales. Now you can just get a clip or something and just clip that. Okay, so we have finished the leg scales. Right in here. We have collapsed these wings, the head. All we have left to do are the scales for the tail. So, we are going to start by opening up this first unit right here. Just open it up. The second unit can stay in place for now. Well, the second half of the unit can stay in place for now. Just open up the first unit. And we're gonna make a mountain fold. If you followed from where this mountain for reverse fold and this reverse fold, right in the middle, if you followed that all the way down and got to this point, we're gonna make a mountain fold just like that. So now we can make a valley fold that goes right like this. And it shouldn't go past half a unit. So, start to make the valley fold right here. Like this. But to make the full thing, I find it a lot easier to turn it over. But remember, only make it until we get to this edge right here. So you can turn it back over. Okay. Turn it back over and we can replete this to just get it like that. Now we're gonna make another one of those pleats. So start halfway. right here, halfway in between this unit. Go down, go through this unit, and stop again right along that line. Now you can make the valley fold again. Use your hand from behind the paper. And now we should have that pleat. Like These two if you folds, if you look at the crease pattern, you will see that they only go down this much because we're going to make folds that go up like this. The rest of the folds will go down like that. So let's go on to those folds. We're going to open this up and make a mountain fold from halfway in between this unit and this unit. Make it all the way down. But this time, we're going to actually go all the way down until we get to, we don't get to this line, we're going to go half a unit up front. So we don't get to this line. We go until this mountain fold here. This line and then the closest mountain fold to it. Half a unit up from that line. Then we're going to make a valley fold. Just like all the other ones. Use your hand from behind. And continue the crease. So, now you should have something that looks like this. You're gonna keep that in that formation right there. And you're going to do the same thing on the next one. So open this up, go halfway in between these. 
Make a mountain fold. The way down until one unit away from here on that mountain fold. Now you're going to make the valley fold. Now we're going to go to the next one and just continue all the way down the line. Since I'm not going to be showing you the bottom scales, I'm going to show you the rest of these scales. Just continue. All the way down. Every time you make one of these folds, just make sure to keep it going. This paper will start to get sort of round like this, but that's okay. It'll go flat once we finish the top scales. Now we're gonna just continue making that those lines all the way up to the end. There is at the end, there is some interesting creatures, so I will show you those in a minute. Just continue. So we're nearing the end here, but once we get to the end, we're going to make some interesting extended creases. So we have one more here. Okay, 
Now we should have this. This is why I said it's scary because it's so many layers out. But what we're gonna do is we have that valley fold there. Okay. Right here we have Okay, here we go. So, we can now make the mountain fold that comes from this point and goes across these squares. So it comes across the square and goes all the way down to where the other units stop. Same with the valley fold and fold it up but you're gonna extend it all the way like this. And then we have three more, two more creases after that. So now we're gonna make a fold underneath that. Should go like this through these mountain fold through the fourth of these units. It's sort of hard to line up, but you can get it a little better when you do the valley fold. Okay, so now the last one, I'm gonna make a mountain fold here. But it stops right like this, this is, there isn't a transition unit fold right here, but it stops there anyway, because we're going to make one. So you just go and it stops right like that. Now make the valley fold. And there we go, that is, this part. Now we're going to make the creases going in the other direction. So make this mountain hole and hold it behind. And it should look like this. These should lock like that. And now we're going to make this a valley fold like that make it and then this should just be a valley fold when this whole thing is over then this is going to fold down so just get that ready and here we can see on the test fold that these come down like that so now we can make these creases. So we're now gonna make a mountain fold from, if you see this point right here, we're gonna make a mountain fold that goes from that point and then following the lines right there, comes down. We're now going to make a valley fold that when we get here, this should fold over like that. So make the valley fold. Line this up. And there we go. Should look like this. And now we're going to go to the next one. But for this, I'm actually going to turn over, turn the model over and make a mountain fold from, let's see, okay. From this unit to here, like that.
and then increase it on the side. And we're gonna make the mountain fold. Hold on. Okay, 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 sorry. These units right here, that's why it didn't look right. They come down. So when you fold it, make sure it comes down like this. It comes down like that. So now we're gonna go to the next one. Go here, make this fold right here, have it and have this go down. So hold it, make it go down. And it should start at this point, like this, and go down. So you can see we have the start of the scales right here. And we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down. So we're just going to make this fold to this point. Fold it down. This. And this goes up. It's pretty much the exact same as Ryujin scales. I think I'm not sure. Scenery. So we're gonna continue making these folds. Taking this, pinching it, folding it over, like this. And make a fold from this point to this point. Fold this down. I'm not, on this one, I'm not gonna show all of this because it's really just the same thing over and over and over. Just take this flap, fold it down, take this flap, fold it down. So I'll do it a couple more times. But I'm not going to show the whole thing. Once you get several of these in a row, you start to get this and you can use your nail and crease it a lot. So yeah, you should start to get this and just do that all the way down. So now I am at the end of the scales. Um, 
and we have come to the part where we get to these. So we have one more here for this bottom part. Oh, okay. This is the first one that comes, goes up here, and it meets this one right here. And then we have, let me fix that, okay. Then we have a second one down here. The one right after that has a mountain fold connecting to here. You can make the valley fold. Like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to press this in. This. And it should look like this. And now we're gonna make one last fold part. Well, not fold. Little reverse fold thing. Is we're going to make this unit. We're gonna halfway here. We're gonna make this fold. Halfway here, we're gonna make this fold. And then a fold connecting the tops. So it should be like a box right here. Now we're gonna press this in. And we're gonna make these. Okay. Just gonna press this all the way in like that. this to lie flat. With this, what you're going to do is you're going to, this should be lying flat right here to get this part to lie flat. You sort of have this little box here. We're going to flip it over. Right in there. We're going to flip it over and Okay. We're gonna make this pleat right here, so this should go up. Like this. And we're going to make this fold over. Like this. Fold it over. And we're going to press this in. So what's happening on the back, if you can see, this is coming in, this, and we're folding this part behind. So what we should do, 
will just fully out and then have this so it stands up. Then you can fold it to the top or the bottom, it does not matter. And what happens inside there, sorry, I did not show that very well, is that Okay, this got pressed inside. Oh, here, let me fix this up. This edge, okay. This looks like that. Got pressed inside. This right here is the box I was telling you about, and then this right here is when we made that valley crease, we reversed it and made this. So now we should have that. And then you can just fold this over. And there are the top scales. Now what you can do is you can crease them sharply. Just like that. And repeat what we did here on the bottom, except for the bottom, make the same folds we did here, just going this way. And when you're done, just make a mountain fold right along here. It should match the one right here. I will show you that next video. But that is it for part five. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next part. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe. <laughs>